friends, myself Shreya Sinha, I study in class 6 and I am from DAV Public School, Faridabad, Sector 14. And in this video, we will talk about how do plants make food. Now, so many people will say that plants make food by the process of photosynthesis. But now I am going to put a question to you. How does plant do this photosynthesis process? And uh, why do we say photosynthesis process? Photosynthesis only. Why couldn't we say it as any other name? Now here I am going to tell you the answer. But first let understand that how do plants make food? Firstly, you can say here is the sun and here is the plant and you know that the plant use some raw materials. There are three basic raw materials which are sunlight and water and carbon dioxide. So let's talk about firstly sunlight. You know from where sunlight comes? From the sun. So here we have the sun and why does the sunlight, why does the plant observe this sunlight? Because the sun is the primary source of energy and the plant directly consumes this energy from the sun and we indirectly consume that and here sun directly sorry plant directly take the energy from the sun so next here talking about the water water is taken by the roots and then root push push up this water into the leaves and the other part of the plant so water is taken from the roots of the plant here i am writing that then about the carbon dioxide, carbon dioxide is a type of a gas present in our, uh, present in our surrounding and so it is taken by the leaves. I will tell uh, which part of leaves take that CO2 that means carbon dioxide is taken by the leaves. Now energy is consumed by the plant with the help of the chlorophyll. Uh, chlorophyll consume or absorb that that sunlight or energy so the sunlight is taken from the chlorophyll now what is chlorophyll so chlorophyll is a green pigment or a chemical present in the leaf and talking about the CO2 or the carbon dioxide uh, in the leaves in the leaves at the back side of the leaf at the back surface of the leaf there are small pores or the whole type and that hole is so small, so small that we can't see it with our naked eyes. If we want to see that, we can use a microscope for seeing that. It is so small and the, the holes take that carbon dioxide and here the water is taken from the root. The root absorbs that water. So now you know that water is taken from the root, sunlight is taken from the chlorophyll and the carbon dioxide is taken from the storm matter. We say that as storm matter. Okay? The holes are said as storm matter. So then the, the chlorophyll mix up all these raw material, water, carbon dioxide and energy. The chlorophyll mix up all that and produce food. Let me write it down for you that you will understand that. These are put together and the chlorophyll do some magic chemistry. I will talk you about that magic for now magic and then produce food. Basically it produces oxygen and here what sugar oxygen and sugar so we can't use this word magic it really it's do the photosynthesis now here oxygen is 
then uh, pushed out from the plants with the help of that stomata. I had talk you uh, about that stomata. And here I am writing that. Okay, oxygen is then thrown out from the plant and we breathe it. And here, now I, uh, now the second question says that why do we say it as photosynthesis? Why could not we use any other name to this? So, basically, photo means light. Photo means light. And synthesis means putting together. Putting together. Putting together. So, photo means light and synthesis means putting together. That means photo means light helps the sun, producing the sunlight. And synthesis means putting together the main thing that chlorophyll do. It puts together these all raw material and produces food. So, that's why we use this name photosynthesis only. And here is sugar. So, what does this sugar do and where it, it exists in the plant? So, this sugar is then stored in all the parts of the plant as food. Now, I, now this was the whole photosynthesis process. And thank you and have a cheerful day ahead.